Hi, geeks. It's Samantha Kuhn. And Noreen Van Dorn. And when we're, we're not, not walking, walking laps around the mall, mall so, so we, we have, have something, something to share with our friends on Puda Tigger, we're going geeking on Walt Disney, Disney World with Curtis and the whole geeking family. Samantha and Noreen, and I guess you're at the mall to get your steps in because it's so cold in Albany, New York, just like it is here in Connecticut. Hey, Disney World geeks, Curtis Stone here. I'm the Podfather host of this amazing Geekin' family. Welcome to episode 538 of the Geekin' on Walt Disney World podcast. This week, Cousin Heather, Jen Batchelder, Jason, Svoboda, Nick Malio, and Amy Rhodes review their resorts, restaurants, events, and favorite core memories from the Grand Geek and Gathering. And I've been having fun talking and hanging out with friends like Heather, Jen, Jason, Nick, and Amy, reviewing trips to Disney parks for over nine years. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. I started the podcast with my daughter, Lindsay, talking about our Disney World trips. And now we bring on our Disney geeks to tell their trip stories. And our listeners are so positive, caring, generous, and they are experienced Disney geeks. You'll get lots of ideas and tips for your next trip to Disney World from their real-world experiences and trip reports. And we do encourage a family atmosphere here on the show, and we'd love for you to join our Geekin' family. We've got an amazing private discussion group in Facebook. Search for Geekin' on WDW Family. It's a great place to ask questions, share your trip pictures, and have fun with one of the best group of Disney World geeks on the internet. And we're also independent Disney authorized travel guides with FTC Elite Travel. We'd love to be your Disney travel guides, help you book your room tickets and dining reservations. You'll notice many of our guests on the podcast book their trips or transfer their trip bookings to the travel and tiaras. That's my wife, Margita, her good friend, Auntie Judy. Just email them travel and tiaras at gmail.com. Just check the show notes on that podcast app that you listen to the show and you'll see their email as well as mine and you can reach out to us we'd love to talk to you about disney world and your next trip that you're planning this week's featured trip report is with heather jen jason nick and amy they review the resorts including the garden wing at the contemporary restaurants like the yak and yeti steakhouse 71 hollywood brown derby 50s prime time skipper canteen beer garden Beaches and Cream, the Cantina in Mexico, the Grand Floridian Cafe, Splitsville, Cosmic Rays, Sanaa, and Chef Mickey's. <laughs> yeah, we like to talk about food on this show. Great stories from events like Jelly Rolls, Halloween Party, Galaxy Edge Role Playing, and the Quest for Geek and Glory Scavenger Hunt. And they finish up with favorite core memories of this trip. And it seems to me. As adults, we just don't have enough play and fun in our lives. Well, this roundtable was fun. I hope you can have fun, too, like this with your group when you go to Disney World. Let's kick this off. I'm having fun talking about G3 with a bunch of my friends. I think I've done like four of these, maybe, I don't know, five, who knows. But tonight I've got Cousin Heather, Jen Batchelder, Jason Svoda, Nick Maglio, and Amy Rose. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, geeks. Hi, geeks. How y'all doing? Great. Good. Heather. Happy to, happy to see everybody's faces again. I know, oh. right? I love seeing you guys back, and I'm glad you're still happy. It gets a little depressing when you get back from a Disney World trip. I guarantee you everybody in this group has the next one planned. I do. That's yeah. true. It's harder to go to the parks now and not look for the gigs. I'm like, hey, maybe if I turn this corner, I'll see one. Yeah, this is a little right, different. Exactly. I think one of the things I noticed when I went down for this G3, I had several people that have moved down to Florida close to Disney World. Uh, 
Oh. Jason, congratulations on your recent move. And Nick, you've been down there for how long now? It's coming up on three years. Yeah. Don't worry. So crazy. all these guys attended the G3, but Jason and Nick lived there. So I told them, give us food. And I know you stayed at home, so you're not going to tell us about <laughs> the resorts unless you got something you've been uh, bopping around there in the resorts. But it's really cool that I'm actually, guys, thinking of something for a segment for the podcast every once in a while to connect with you guys that live down there. Get the local what's going on, what's happening recently segment, if you don't mind. I'm sure a good idea. We could do that sometime. Yeah. I did run. Patrick, remember, Jason, we were running around with Patrick? He lives yeah. down there, so got a bunch mm -hmm. of people. And Scott and Karen Dave's come up all the time, yep. so. That's true. They're a great source for right. what's going on. Yep. Yeah. Not that we don't ever have geeks in the parks, right, guys? <laughs> Jason's finding that out. Just about every weekend. <laughs> Nick, do you run into friends? So Nick and I was telling these guys know each other the longest since I started the podcast. And Lisa Green had a podcast, Disney Exchange, that Nick and a friend that they did a show with, and we collaborated a little bit. So it's great to hook back up with Nick. And good to see you. We've been, Thank you. You've been to a bunch of our meetups though over the years I, I only made a couple previously and i, I hope to make more next year i had mm. such a good time mm. like wow good. but you Especially were yeah one of the like original ones when lisa and i met like over at the yacht club that was before a lot of these big gatherings started uh, yes i have the photos from that yeah that remember was... that that might have been the first time yeah, i met I you guys too i don't know Anyways, I feel like I met you the previous year, perhaps. Maybe, yeah, you hadn't moved down even by then. You no, were, no, there, yeah, that's true. There was a couple of years where you were just there the same time I was there. Yeah, it was just coincidence. Yeah, that... absolutely awesome. All right, let's get into the resorts. And like I said, we've covered this a little bit with the G3 people, but Heather, you had a unique twist on your stay this time, right? I did, I did. I stayed in the garden wing of the contemporary. Because I knew a lot of people were based in Bay Lake Tower, but I had to save my DVC points from a big birthday trip coming up in December. Jen Pulliam and I shared a room in the Garden Week. It was gorgeous. The new Incredibles rooms. It was huge. Mm. And what was nice, the thing is, you basically feel like you're walking to Miami. So if you don't like to walk, I wouldn't book there. <laughs> but when you get there, you're really away from everything. It's right on the water. The view is beautiful. And truly one of the biggest rooms I've stayed in, even bigger than the Grand Casino Tower. Yeah. Which I thought was one of the biggest regular hotel rooms that they have on property. But we loved it. It was great. I can remember Margita talking to me about that garden view section, which is off of the contemporary, if anyone doesn't know Correct. where that is. She always said that was like one of the best deluxe bargains or values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Because yes. of the location. It was, it was and, yeah. Big, big difference in price. Is it? You know, Very okay. much so. Yes. Very Same cool. location. How was your roommate? Yeah. Baby. And you can lie if it's. Oh, no. You can, tell, you can um, tell us. She won't hear. <laughs> yes. You know what? I know, right? No, are you kidding me? She's my soul sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had such a good time. And what was so much fun? I'm originally from Oklahoma. She's from Texas. We have kids sandwiched exactly one year away from each other. So we were comparing teenage boy stories. Mm -hmm. And he went to Paris last year. I'm going to Paris this summer. So it was, it was great. We had a great time. Also understood. I have to go home and take a nap. He didn't get mad at me. I was so excited when you said you were coming. I knew quite well. We had met, met before. We you've been yeah. a long time listener, and we met up in New York City. And I, your your yeah. energy and enthusiasm, and we hooked you up with Jen Pulliam, who was like, I know you guys were perfect for each other. I think if oh, I were, it was it was the best. That was awesome. Yeah, I love yeah. it. And you even got to do a coffee walk with me one morning. I did. That was so fun. Yeah, she messaged me. I thought me. we were actually going to, I thought we were going to walk though. <laughs> it was okay because I had already walked. I, I had, had too. taken. Yeah. My husband is always like, why are you taking these long exercising walks on a day that you're going to walk all around a park? And it always happens on day one. Um, but I had walked all the way from the contemporary, all the way to the Grand Floridian and back. And if you have never done that walk, it is gorgeous. If you go before 6.30, though, they will not let you through security into the Magic Kingdom. Just know that because right. I tend to be an early riser. Um, but I had done that and come back and texted uh, her. And he was like, yeah. So we coffee walked uh, in the lobby of the Contemporary. It was quite enjoyable. Yeah. So that was no, Friday. 
Friday. Thursday. Because we saw you guys. Friday. I got, yeah. Yeah. We saw you guys on the walk, on the briefway. Yeah. Truth be told. Yeah, because you, you were headed to breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Truth be told, I do about three coffee walks because no one gets up any earlier than me in my room. So I just, coffee's yeah. gone. I'll go get another one. It's easy enough. So Jen, awesome. I understand you upgraded your room from the sorority house to the flop house. Is that yeah. the <laughs> correct terms? Yeah, we had a couple of those going. <laughs> that was last, yeah. that was a couple of G3s ago. We were in at Bailey Tower as well. We had a late view, two bedroom with Glenn, Rebecca, Andy, and Madison. Nice. And it worked out really well. It did. You're not kidding. Yeah, I thought I would be like the first one to bed. So I was a little worried about that. And they yeah. were giving me a lot of crap about how they're going to keep me up all night. But I ended up staying just as late, if not later, than most of them. How late like, did they're notorious for going into the early morning? Another mind, late at night. Nothing like that. I had a sense that they didn't. I don't know. Am I wrong? We did a lot. A couple nights, the, the Halloween party, Trey made us stay out. Okay. We, like he just after fireworks just wanted to start riding rides so we stayed out way later than we thought in the parks. For that. that's good yeah that's and the place Jill to stay the late night yeah so organically it's really late. nice to walk back to bailey tower after a late night oh Halloween my gosh party, right so nice <laughs> i know that so jason what resort did you stay at Stay at the resort de sul bodor <laughs> jason yeah it's it's not as fancy as some places, but you never have any rude employees or anything like that. And I try to remember to leave a mint on my own pillow every morning. Actually, though, Kurt, before I came, when I came down, though, my apartment wasn't ready yet. So I did stay for almost a week at Pop Century. Okay. So I got to do that and try out the Skyliners. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I can say, if you stay at a place with a Skyliner... There's only two parks that exist anymore. I'm like Magic <laughs> right. Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. And I like the place where I can walk outside, hop in this giant space bubble yeah. and take a little ride right over to the park. <laughs> That's awesome. You would pop over to see me a couple of nights after work, though. That was great. Mm -hmm. We got to hang out quite a bit. And next year, I should be able to take the actual time off. But I didn't think it was kosher to ask for. Yeah. A week off, six weeks into the new job. Yes, Sam. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to come over. Nick, where did you stay? Yeah, that was, I, I do occasionally stay at PBC Resorts. Yeah. Uh, you still have your still PBC? Members. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Not going to get rid of that. That's awesome. How far are you from the parks? We're about three miles from Animal Kingdom, south, three miles south oh. of Animal Kingdom. Wow. Wow. Approximately. Yeah. Awesome. That is. And your wife, Barbie, recently started working. We call those cast members. Is that correct? Over in the theater district over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Wow. She so was working. That? I know Nick's going to talk. We're going to talk about the events of G3. I know one. I know. I think I know what Nick's favorite event of G3 was, but Barbie was working that day. I didn't get a chance to see her. We were in the wrong direction. Wasn't that day she was there? It was. Yeah. We never you know. Really there she is in the background. She was looking for us. We were busy. We never made it over to, to that land. It's no. always still made. No, we had a mission. We were men on a mission, right? Jason was on our team, too. We were yeah, going to find as many cocktails as we could <laughs> and take pictures with them. Is that what it was? Okay. It Seemed... turned into that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I don't think, yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be. That's what it turned out to be. Did I lose Amy? She Oh, she's getting in her car. She's, yes, she's, she's making moves. My, my baby's right. over. Academic night is oh. over, so I'm going home. You going to stay with us? I hope so. All if right. my car does. Well, she just, I just lost you. Lost her. That's right. We'll get back to her. Let's get into food. I, I know she'll pop back in. Heather, talk about, let's talk yes. about our favorite dining experiences while you were down at Disney World. Do you know where I had never eaten before? Was people, Yak and Yeti. Oh, yeah. People surprise me all the time. I, yes. Because we're not the Animal Kingdom family, right? Okay. Right. My children don't think actual real animals move and sing and dance, so we don't do that so much. So I hadn't, I'd never been to Nomad Lounge. I'd never been to Yak and Yeti. Samantha Kuhn said, I'm ordering you tuna nachos. I said, great. And they were amazing. Oh, good. It was great. Yeah, that was one of my, one of my very favorites. You just, without saying saying it, but without saying it, 
you went solo like for the first time, right? I did. I had never done adult Disney by myself. I had never done solo Disney by myself. Hmm. It was a magical experience. <laughs> I didn't have to put sunscreen on anyone else but me. Are you ever going to bring your family back to Disney World? <laughs> no, no. No, I already told them. I'm dead. I told them after that family trip last year that we weren't coming as Capel family of four until everybody could drink alcoholic beverages. So, <laughs> except I will say that Capel family of four will be going to Disneyland in Paris this summer, but like for a day. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. They surely have, they have booze in France, right? I've heard. Yes. Those are, they're, there's, there's some that they're really known for, I think. You'll have to, you'll have to let me know. I, so. I will. I certainly will. I certainly will. How was Nomad I, Lounge? What did you think of that for the first time? I thought it was great, but I also like, because I flew in Thursday morning, I walked in late to the first meetup. So it was like, uh. it was wonder, wonderful getting to see everybody there for the first time and meeting people that I had never, that you feel like. You're a long-time listener and, you know, you, you see people's pictures and you feel like you know them and then you get to meet them in person. It was really like Glenn Kessler. I've never met Glenn Kessler before in my life. So oh, wow. that was, that's a great, that was really fun. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that was a good one. Great first meetup. The Nomad yes. Lounge. Yes, for got, sure. Got so, a little crazy in there. It did. <laughs> it did. I feel so um, bad for the but servers, was, but they seem to handle it quite well. No, I, you know what? I was at the bar because finally I was just like, I'm just going to go to the bar That's and get right. my drink. And and I said to them, I'm like, I'm sorry. Did anyone warn you about this? And they were like, we love this. At least that particular that, They did say that. There was like, yeah, they were good. like, oh my God, we think this is the best. That so, makes, I'll tell you, that takes the heat right off of me right away. Yeah. Yeah. They, they might look for a, yeah. a leader and someone might stick me out there. <laughs> Talk to them. Okay. guy. Like we've said before, wait. For the most part, we tend to be a happy bunch. Yeah. And certainly at the first meetup. And when I think everybody was just so thrilled to be there yeah. and brought good energy into the room. Except for the time when Wendy Fox wants to stand on a chair or table, then uh, things start to get a little tough. Well, <laughs> hey, Jen, what, there you go. Give me one of your favorites from this trip. The meals? Yeah. We did. I love that meal at Yak and Yeti after mm. we had been strolling around and yeah. drinking all day. Then we had, we had breakfast at Steakhouse that morning. We saw you on your coffee yeah. shop. Ray and Madison and I walked over to Steakhouse 71. We had never eaten there before. Okay. And had a delicious breakfast. But we, our waiter walked up and he was just this gorgeous Italian man. We, we said he must have just come back from hair and makeup because it looks it's just perfect. His um, tag, I can't hear, I think his name was Luigi. And we're like, where are you from? And then this perfect Italian accent. And he's like from, I don't know where he was. <laughs> you don't even know what he said. We're like, that's probably Bob from New Jersey. That's <laughs> like, his character switch before he came out. Right. It was uh, hilarious. But that's a really good tips. <laughs> right? Uh, really good it. breakfast. We um, saw Jeff and Danielle there. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. Awesome. What'd you have? I think I think it was like a, a caprese omelet. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I, was, I couldn't find any notes or receipts. I tend to trash the receipts as soon as I get home. So there's it seems, no memory or evidence. It seems like Steakhouse no Seventy One comes up on this podcast a lot lately. I think it's because of the location. I don't know that. Yeah, I, w I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to yeah. do that. We were, you know, because we were staying there. It just was incredibly convenient that day because we knew. We wanted um, pool time that day before yeah. the party or before little monorail crawl. So we wanted to stay close. It's one of our favorites. Is it? Yeah. What do you like there, oh, Nick? Uh, the steaks are great. The breakfast is very good. I love getting On my birthday, in the last two years, I've gotten the steak and eggs on my birthday. Um, yeah. For dinner, if we don't have a reservation, we could just go to the bar and get the burger, which yeah. is fantastic there. Yes. So. Yeah. It's one of the best burgers on property. That and Geyser Point. Uh, kind of yeah. go back and forth from those are your two favorites yeah absolutely i love that all right jason really, i want to say the tuna sorry to interrupt the tuna yeah. over like the yak and yeti the tuna nachos phenomenal everyone oh. talks about the tuna nachos yeah. at yak and yeti really they're that good huh excellent it's so good you're talking me into those that comes up all the time well worth it i love yak and yeti i think we're booking we're we got a trip we're coming back down in january so end of january if you're you guys that are local, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, let's do it. I'll let you know. I like the Yak and Yeti. Be happy to eat there. 
What ah, they got? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to put you in, yeah. in, in touch with my reservation people. My, what do you call them? My travel agents? Jason, what? I know one place you went to, but. Yeah, I went to uh, several of the nighttime things. Oh, and after listening to last week's episode, I wanted to clear up one of the mysteries. I was the one that got the shrimp macaroni and cheese at the Hollywood Brown Derby. <laughs> Thank you for clearing up that. Yes. I just wasn't that hungry that night, so I got a couple of small things. That was extremely good. I highly recommend yeah. the shrimp mac and cheese. I do not recommend the, was it spoon bread? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It had some kind of weird taste to it that just yeah. was offsetting Okay. I got to ask Margita. I don't know if she liked hers or not. She likes spoon I don't bread. think she did either. Okay. I thought both of us looked at each other Something's off. Yeah, <laughs> something's not quite right here. <laughs> we had a pretty good table there, though, didn't we? That was a nice view. I, I crossed my arms, was real rude to the waiters, and treated all the cast members as <laughs> accessories like you should when you're an important person. No, it was a really <laughs> nice experience. Head of the I table. Don't think I, could, I don't think I had a bad cast member experience the entire G3. Yeah. I don't think I had any negative. Yeah, That's I good. agree. That's awesome. Not surprised. Nick. All right, so you gave us some great hot tips. What's another good place you guys, you and Barbie, like to go when you're just hanging around Disney World? Eating a 50s prime time this Sunday, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah? An old-time yeah. favorite? Well, all-time favorite. One of our favorites. Yeah. Absolutely. What's good over there? The fried chicken is I could get every time, but Barbie last time had the meatloafs. Yeah. Like the meatloaf, right? She gets the sampler. So she got the sampler, and she <laughs> enjoyed everything on them. That's the pot roast. Does she eat all her vegetables? Always. Oh, right. She knows, be she knows better? No, she does. No <laughs> elbows on the table. I was just going to say, that's the <laughs> other tip I was going to give you. Don't put your elbows on the table. That's it. I don't know how much they do the shtick anymore. Sometimes it depends. They do. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We've eaten there in the last few months, certainly two or three times. And so that's one of your favorites? Absolutely. All right. I'm, when I come back around, I'm going to ask you your top three favorites in Disney World. All right. So think of that. And for what all the restaurant. Yeah. All all property. I'll think about it. Hang, hang tight. I think I'm going to get Amy. I don't know if I got the roof of her car. I'm not sure if I got her. Or... I'm here. Amy, we're on the food. I'm back. Tell me a good restaurant you did at Disney World. One of the good ones. For G3, we sat down for several meals and Boma breakfast was pretty cool. Yeah. And it was very good. It was back to the old breakfast. It felt like old Disney. <laughs> Yeah. But what was an impromptu, because we got sidetracked in the quest for geek and glory, and I'm going to blame Jen Pulliam for for talking us into just going and sitting down at Hollywood Brown Derby <laughs> and eating instead <laughs> of the new, quest doing our quest. <laughs> well, that yeah. will definitely put you in the last right. place, I think. Yeah, we didn't care. We had fun. <laughs> we did as many things as we could. Yeah. But it was really nice to sit and chat. Deirdre and her group uh, sat right next to us, and we sat at Aspias. Yeah. But that was really good. I had the Cobb salad, and I didn't know you could substitute Parmesan for the blue cheese crumbles. I like that. Um, Because like that's the only either. other cheese they offer. I'm good to know. That's I don't like tip. it. We substituted the Parmesan for it. That was pretty, that was a neat I, I like didn't know that. I think I've Barbie heard also, that. Barbie that, never gets the blue cheese also. They, they have, yeah. She was, so it's Parmesan. I like that. Yep. Yeah. I like that better. Good idea. That, so you were there for lunch, Amy? I guess it was lunch. It was like 11. It was like right after we started the quest. It's like 11. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of quest was this that you were participating well, in? We had to go there and get a picture with the That's Club right. 33 and That's all the stuff at the Brown yeah. Derby. And they just were calling our name and there was plenty of tables. So you're in there doing the quest and you're asking the cast members questions and said, by the way, you got a place where we could sit down yeah. and eat? Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Hey, that's one way to do it. Thanks, Amy. All right. Heather, give me another one of your favorites from another dining experience. Another dining experience. You can't go wrong with Skipper Canteen. All right. Especially when you really need to eat. The Skipper Canteen Lounge in Magic I Kingdom. I just took mine. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> I was drinking gin. Imagine all their special water. And <laughs> I needed some Brazilian cheese bread. Yeah. And some. And we got empanadas. Was that it? 
No, cachapas. Cachapas. That's what yeah. it was. You just so um, the espresso martinis. Okay. I did. I did. Where'd you get those? Let me just say, oh, we got those at Enchanted Rose. Okay. And we were trying to get truffle fries at Enchanted Rose, but they didn't start making those until five o'clock and we need to get out of there. So we had a lot of spicy nuts. I ordered what, like five things of spicy nuts, right? <laughs> That's all we ate was spicy nuts <laughs> and espresso martinis. Um, oh, man. Really? Let me just say one. So many spicy nuts. Couldn't keep up with this crowd. Let me just say that. <laughs> By the time I got to Sunday in the quest for Beacon Glory, now Samantha Carvey and I were like, it figured out that both of us were fast walkers and decided to be uber competitive. We would get our drinks that you had to try at the Brown Derby. And then we literally, I gave mine to Rob Madiri. I was like, here, he was like, you're not, I said, I can't drink this. I, I have to be like on point. I can't be, I can't be dropped. Come on. I gotta get, I gotta win. We only came in second. You oh, know? That's, there's uh, no yeah. shame in that. No shame in that. We did, we did well in our little group of two, but, but yeah, no back to Skipper Canteen. It was, no, always a great food there. You always have to ask for that uh, cheese spread that they don't put on the menu. And that was Trey and Samantha and Jen and I, we had it. And then there, were, there was another World Table people over there. But that was a good mid-Halloween party hang to make sure that you had some food in your belly. Yeah, that was before the Halloween party. Nice. Yes. Well done. That's become a Geek and Family lounge at Magic Kingdom. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jen was sending me pictures before we hopped on that are just fantastic. It was our photo shoot with Cindy's slipper. You got so. Where did you get the Cindy yeah. slipper photo shoot done? We we're just walking through. Um, we had left Polynesian on the monorail to come over to Enchanted Rose, yeah. and we're Rose, walking through yeah. the second floor. Yeah. And there's a photo pass photographer, a whole setup, and there was a bunch of little princesses in line. So mm-hmm. our little princess selves got in line too. Yeah, Dole Whip and, and Citrus Swirl decided we needed a photo with the slipper too. So yeah, yeah. that's what we did. It was, such it a was cute... punctuated by Jen Wynn and her tambourine. Somebody <laughs> looks at you something and she just do her tambourine softly. <laughs> and her <laughs> Madame Tussauds. Yeah. Her, it's not Madame Tussauds. Yeah. yeah. Madame Leota. Yeah. Madame, I was going to say Madame Tussauds. Wrong. We Madame. should have got well, Jen and Madison on this call. I don't know why we didn't. I don't know. I was just putting the feelers out to see if people would hop on. That's, that was a fantastic. Oh, so you got to give me one of your next food items or restaurants, Jen. So I was thinking about a meal I had and it was the last day Hollywood Studios and just about everybody had gone home and it was time for them to catch their flights. So I had started to catch a cold and was just soaking wet from that day because we had just gone and gone and gone. So I left Hollywood Studios after a great afternoon with a bunch of people and took the bus back by myself. Stopped at Contempo Cafe and got a grilled cheese and tomato soup and took it back to the room. Everybody had left except Glenn and Rebecca, and they had gone over to Universal Studios. So I had the whole place to myself, and I just got into the covers and ate my <laughs> dinner. was amazing <laughs> from the Contempo Cafe. Highly recommend it. Yeah. It's, it it's, was just a good comfort dinner. It still cracks yeah. me up how... The grilled cheese on Disney World gets such praise. And apparently, you'll hear on one of these episodes, there was a grilled cheese gate incident in the Bay Lake Tower. Oh, I know what oh. I heard. Yes. It's there was a. So, yeah. Don't tell. Yeah, well, we didn't really go missing. It <laughs> we knew where it went. I think it got half eaten if I listened properly. Yeah, it's Somebody funny. Somebody didn't put their name on their left. <laughs> Jason, how about another? Oops. Dining experience from you. I can bring Nick on that one because we sat at the same table at Beer Garden. Oh. And that was really good. Cincinnati, where I grew up, is a very German town. They have the world's second largest Oktoberfest. So I grew up eating German food. And then my dad's side of the family is Polish. So a lot of the stuff at Beer Garden was exactly in my wheelhouse (laughs) for feed. I wasn't sure at first if I liked it or not, but... I went around with Nick and Barbie, and the first time around, we get our food, we eat. And the second time, it became like this strategic meeting between the three of us. We're like looking over like it's a military operation. <laughs> okay, you go that way. I'll go that way. Report I'll back. Grab some of this. You cut off and make sure that they refill this so we don't miss out on this. That's how I you mean, do a buffet. Yeah, we were a coordinated <laughs> attack unit. 
And we got the most out of all our time there, that's for sure. Nick, can well you confirm done. all that? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I just had two of my two favorites on the list mentioned. One by Heather, which is Skipper Canteen. Yeah, how come you that, like that one? We've never had a bad meal there. No. We love the Dan Dan noodles, the, which is no longer on the menu. Yeah. We were there like a week or two ago, and it was the last night they were having the Dan Dan. Dan, uh, Dan you know, the menu. they do that. They the menu the next day. Oh. So I wound up getting those. I was just going to get the pork, yeah. which I always enjoy. So they wound up giving me a nice bit of pork along the, with the Dan Dan meals. Yeah. So that was great. Don't you feel like when that restaurant first opened, it was not talked about or ignored? And it was still probably... I'm not that yeah. difficult to get a, 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 yeah. a reservation. Boy, people on my podcast talk about this one all the time. So I shot several same day. Yeah. It's one of our go to. Yeah. Maybe it's an unknown favorite. It's yeah. because when they first opened, they put pictures out of an entire fish fried <laughs> or <true>. something. <laughs> it was in strange. I was like, I'm never going there. It scared people off. Not for adventures either. <laughs> yeah. I think they toned the spice down too. I remember having a steak salad there the first time I was there. I was like, whoa, it was wicked spicy. Oh, wow. The steak was, yeah. I don't recall. I never give up on a like place. Like I said, though. I've eaten, we ate there early on and it, every, every time we'd eat there. That's was... awesome. What was the other one? What did you think of Beer Garden? Did you agree oh, with I Jason's? That one also one of our favorites. Yeah. yeah oh, absolutely. Because yeah. you're from a German area too, originally, right? It's in Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. Is I grew up in Scranton, but okay. yes, all German food, Scranton, Philly. Yeah, and nobody loves German food. Yeah, but yeah, real good. I like it too. Uh, Just a three. So I'll throw. I'm going to throw another one I wrote down. Okay. That Barbie brought, brought up. Believe it or not, be in Napoli. Interesting. Yeah. I know it's just pizza and it's in whatever, $45. Yeah. But it's filling. It fills four or five. Never had a bad meal. I totally agree with that. The, the funny thing we talk about, Margie and I and Judy talked about in this latest podcast. Every time I've gone there, it's gotten weird. Do you know what I mean by that? No, I don't. <laughs> Something weird always happens. It's always they, some... they pronounce my name correctly, my last name, which really? I'm always how. Maybe it's yeah. me. It could be me. It's pronounced Malio, but yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. They always pronounce it correctly when they call the name. It's, oh, look at that. That's weird. If you remember <laughs> from the podcast, Dave, Dave, David Hodges used to introduce me, Nicholas Malio. That's right. That's but right. it's nobody called. So Maglio's fine. Everybody, M A G L I O. <laughs> now that you say that, I remember that. All right. I love those, Nick. I might get another one from you, but we'll go around one more time. Amy. Come on, you ate with me a few times, I know. I did. I'm going to say beaches and cream. Yeah, huh? Yeah. And honestly, I wish that I would have just skipped dinner because it was mediocre and just eaten the whole No Way Jose by myself instead <laughs> of sharing it. Next That's a good time. strategy. Next time, Amy. Or you could just get that grilled cheese sandwich and that don't fill you up too much. I don't even care about the other food. Just show there for no way. Her What'd you get? get that? Some popcorn. Yeah. What was disappointing? The French dip. Really? Yeah. Okay. It looked good to me. I thought it was soft bread. Yeah. What was that? It was kind of soggy bread, but you need it to be a little hard to soak up the juice. Okay. I don't know. It was just kind of meh. Oh, you're making me feel you know? better because I was really torn between that and the Reuben, which... Yeah, Michael said, I should have got a Reuben like Kurt. <laughs> nice. So. You didn't finish your No Way Jose? I split it. We split, oh. I ate half and Michael ate half. So okay. he just told me to eat what I wanted and then I gave it to him. Was that, I put, good? that was really you. <laughs> I put away a full Jose myself. <laughs> I had a tapeworm that night, That's that impressive. day. I felt like I could, like, yeah. I was really, yeah, you finished it. Yeah, I really was. I wasn't like I was hungry. It was just like, like I had room or something. But yeah. yeah, I don't know why I think about it. It's a simple place, simple meal, but I love that mm -hmm. place for some reason. I really do. It's always been one of my, it was loud. A lot of people got kitchen sinks, so they did the whole spiel, yeah. the kitchen sink, but I, that's part of the appeal of the place. It's part of the shtick. It's, casual. it's part of yeah. the charm. Yeah. I, know. I like that. And it's so pretty. It's the first time I've been since it was like huge. Oh, the opening. When, yeah. when I went before, it was like a closet. Oh, okay. Yeah. You hadn't been there since they widened yeah. it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, even better. Yeah, it hasn't lost its quaintness either. I love it. All right, Heather, you got another one? Did you eat? I don't know. Did you eat it all? You're running around so much. Let me tell you. Here's what I discovered. When you fast share the jumbo nachos with Andy Hoffman at 11 a.m. margaritas, you will not be hungry at 1.30 for the beer garden. Oh. So I was like, I just paid 90 bucks for a pretzel roll and some cucumbers because that was all I could fit in my belly. <laughs> but I will say that those nach, what are you going to do? The company was great and the show was fabulous. But those nachos there were really good. Oh, yeah. At Cantina, whatever. It's, what's it called? Oh, yeah, I should know. I don't remember. I love that place. I it's... know. It's where we get it's where we get 11 a.m. margaritas. No, the nachos were really good. We got the chicken nachos and great spice. Lot, I got to have lots of sour cream and guac, which they did. And there were no nachos left when we were done. <laughs> La like... Cantina de San Angel. There you Green go. Green Hill, that one. Thank yes, you, Amy. That's a, Thank you. That's it. Thank you. That's one of my favorite meals on property. The frozen lime margarita yeah. and the nachos, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's so good. It's never, and they better not went. take it away, Nick. You go talk to them. Right. Well, not like your noodles, your Dan noodles. They better never take those nachos away at the Mexican pavilion. I, I hope they don't. That would be I, horrible. No, fantastic choice. Cousin Heather and Jen Batchelder. Yes. One last one, food-wise. We, we do the lunch at Yak and Yeti. And then, oh, Madison and I did have dinner at for a Thursday night. Yeah, after we got back from Animal Kingdom, we had made a reservation at Grand Floridian Cafe. So we took the monorail. Oh, good. And had a nice dinner. Another favorite. Good there. Yeah. Good location. Good. What'd you have? Oh, salmon. I think that I was, it had been a long day at the Animal Kingdom at that point. I really couldn't remember. Oh. I think I had salmon or fish of some sort. I'll look at the menu. Okay. <laughs> Because you don't eat meat after you go to Animal Kingdom? Is that what you're trying to say? I never would have. <laughs> Absolutely. You can never problem with that. Uh, another great one. The Grand oh. Florian Cafe. Another hidden one. Yeah, that's the first time I had dinner there. And the only other time we had ma- I'd met Madison there. She was there for a day during Chuck and I's trip. And uh, we met there for breakfast yeah. before going to um, Magic Kingdom. So that was the first time I had dinner. And then now it's the first time I had breakfast. I really like it. I like the atmosphere in there. Was it crowded? No, no, not terribly. You could probably always walk in there too, I think. I have this feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Jason, you got one more? Yeah. First, let me mention real quick, because Nick brought up the pizza. The best pizza I have had in any of the Disney places so far is, we- is weirdly enough, not in a pizza place. At Splitsville. Oh. They have this thing called a Killer Bee. Yeah. It's a pizza with pepperoni, basil, tomatoes, and hot honey drizzled on it. It's reasonably priced. I get three meals out of it if I take it home, mm. and it is really good. That's so funny. I just saw a commercial about honey on pizza, which I had never heard of. But I, you it always works hear, with meat. There's lots of good meals there at Splitsville, right, Jason? Good one. Mm-hmm. So far, yeah. I've and my other that. thing right across the street from it, if you're not hungry, at Art Smith's Homecoming, mm. the best cheese grits. Okay. You can get a little side order of cheese grits. And it's like a little meal on itself, and they'll put bacon or shrimp or anything on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you're not really that hungry, because sometimes it's nuclear hot in Florida, yeah. that makes a good alternative yeah. there. But as far as like a meal during G3, I remember Friday night, I was out with Scott and Dave and Nick and Carlin, and we were having so much fun with our group, and other people were hanging out with us, like Brooke Everett and others. Yeah. We went so long. It got to be like 11 o'clock at night, and we are starving. So we went over to Cosmic Ray's. Yeah. I got a freshly made cheeseburger. And when you've been running around for six hours, <laughs> just a good old-fashioned yeah. cheeseburger and fries. It hits different. so good. Yeah. Plus, they had this really cool thing going on with the uh, Disney Junior thing. Oh, yeah. They weren't doing Cosmic Ray. They had a little... Uh, Disney Junior dance party going on for that. all the kids that were there. Yeah, and so while I'm eating my burger, the fireworks started, and one of these characters, I think her name was like Vampirina or something like that. Yes, actually took yes. one of the little girls by the hand and walked her outside to watch the fireworks with her. So I'm like trying to eat my oh. burger while falling, <laughs> yeah, like a baby. I'm like, it's <laughs> like that apple with my boys that been so beautiful. I th- we used to make fun of Cosmic Rays. I went there before the party started and I had a 
spicy hot chicken sandwich. It was really good. I was, it was fine. So good on you. Good job. I'm jealous about you guys that living down there. Jason says, I just learned that they got great pizza at Splitsville. So I'm going to hop on down there just to do great. that. Or right. Any yeah. other little tip thing that you wanted to try? I yeah. made it my mission to try to find the best $11 meals uh-huh. at all the different parks. Because I can't be shelling out mortgage payments to the mouse every month. <laughs> I understand. You know, eating all the fancy restaurants. So I've been trying to, I've been finding all the best values. That's and so great. far, there's plenty of times I can get great meals for a better price than if I swung through Arby's. Yeah. Perfect. And that, you just gave me a great example of bringing you guys on there local to do some little show like that. All the little bargains that you've found. Because you have Jason the time there, to do it. The sushi at Splitsville is surprisingly good Heard and that. fresh. It's very good. I was gonna, yeah, yeah, I agree. I was going to bring that up. Right. We yeah. keep stealing all your ideas, Nick, but you should have more. Because like, yeah, you've seriously. been working at it for how many years? You've been down there now. Time's well, flying we, by. We started coming in 2006. But yeah, we'll be here three years. Living February of 21. We okay. Oh, wow. But Splitsville, early on, we discovered the sushi and couldn't believe it. <laughs> it was a rainy day. We were here. It was a long trip, 10-day trip. Went to Splitsville. Sushi. How good could that be? And yeah. Yeah. Really good sushi. Fantastic. So you can go yeah. there and eat and not bowl at all? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never, I've never bowled there. I've never yeah, I bowled. Yeah, we bowled. I bowled. They also have live music on the weekends. Oh, yeah. Cool. So we'll sit outside and they'll have a really good three-piece band. Oh, wow. Up there. And usually the bartenders are chatty. You can just kill a couple of hours listening to music. Is it table service? Someone's waiting on you? Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. It's a really good place to watch football, too, before City Works. Yeah. Not City Works. The City ESPN works. left. It is. Yeah. It's because we usually get in for a, a football game. Okay. And Blitzville was one of the places after ESPN closed. I was thinking of that. Watch it. There was a game. Now I'm into fantasy football. So even though the G3 was going on, I was thinking about fantasy football. And where would I go to watch a game now that ESPN's gone? Right. I know. Blitzville, Nick, Rix's at Coronado. Yes, yeah, and I was staying there on Sunday, too. I never got over there. I don't. Th- I didn't spend much time in my resort at all during this 12, 13-night stay, whatever I did. Nick, did you have another one that you wanted to mention? Uh, yeah, yeah. A bunch of them got mentioned. I, I was going to see Sanaa over at okay. Kidani Village yeah. at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Never had a bad meal there. Okay. And I'm just sticking with with counter with uh, table service there's so many great counter service i think i'm gonna have to do a podcast about i think you should really I'll get the band back me. together and do a, a podcast I'll, on this now especially now with you down there all the time lisa are you out there yeah lisa are you let's listening do let's do it lisa she's getting this little yeah <laughs> little vibe in her little, little tingle her ears nice yeah sana you know who's telling me they've never been to sana was glenn kessler which oh. kind of surprised me. I think he's got a mission. I think when they go down, they're, they're doing the wine and dine coming up here. Well, the bread November. service is like a piece of art. Yeah. So I think he'd enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. Everyone talks about that. What's a good entree there? Oh, we, I believe it or not, I had the burger a few months ago and really liked the burger well, there. That also. surprises me. It is. It was surprising, but I wasn't in the mood for, yeah. I think this had Indian food and the chicken tikka masala is really great. Am I, is that right? Chicken tikka masala? He's checking with his wife. Not, not Heather. It looks like he's looking at Heather. Oh, I was like. <laughs> I'm looking at him, yeah. That's right. And Brady is, is here. that right, Heather? It is chicken tikka masala. <laughs> it, it is, yes. Yeah, that was always a go-to. The bread service. I could just go and yeah. get the bread shirt. For sure. It's yeah. Meals. I, the reason I've, it's a great location too. Seeing the animals right outside oh, your window. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you walk out and eat. Emus are. Laying eggs outside the window there. Ostrich. I've, had, I've not seen that. But even when you're waiting, you get to see the big the turtle, which I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I hope to. Uh, He's got a name. Well, of course, they all he have He has names. a name. Do you remember what the name is? Barbie. <laughs> the turtle over at Animal Kingdom Lodge. He eats at Sanaa. He eats at the, the turtle. <laughs> it left over <laughs> every time. When he, he, he likes, which dip does he like off the bread service? He likes the cilantro the best, I believe. <laughs> awesome. 
I think he's called Crush. Isn't that right, guys? That sort of should be. If it's not, it should be. That's the one in the if water. Only I had the internet. Not the dry <laughs> land. Not the dry land one. He's a giant tortoise. Probably is what he is. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. See that? And I'll thank you. All right. Hey, talk talk amongst yourselves. I'm, I'm gonna I'll be back. Talk, I'm gonna talk to Amy. Amy's now, I think, back home. Somewhere it looks like home. I'm in Laura last room. Bring us home yeah. on the food, Amy. So I'm going to say, and I was a little shocked at how good this meal was, but. I know what you're going to say. Chef Mickey's. Yes. The different types of food that they had on the buffet was just insane. Yeah. We ate with Kurt and he was like, okay, I'm going to go make my Asian plate. Oh, I'm going to go make my <laughs> Italian plate. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go make my, I, th- I think he had even like tacos. I was trying to think um, about the other, I know it was all these ethnic. And thing. then like in, home cooking. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. And Michael Stain came out of his shirt, Kurt. <laughs> that was the last thing Kurt said to me. He said, go home and wash your husband's shirt. Because it was like, it, he literally had what? An entire bowl of red sauce down <laughs> the front of his shirt. <laughs> it came out. I put spray on it and it came out when we got home. I was really surprised. We're only teasing and laughing because we do it all the time. I think we said at yeah. the table, my crew, my crew does that all the time. You gotta be wearing a white shirt. It's always great. Yeah. You know, he wore a light gray shirt <laughs> to a buffet that he knew he was going to spill something on him. Yeah. So chef Mickey really <laughs> did a great job. Heather. Yeah. All right. Great job on the food guys. Awesome job in the front. Look at she's. <laughs> Kurt, it is Chappie the tortoise over at Chappie. Chappie. I like that. Yeah. Chappie. Perfect. We got it right. The internet. Gotta love the internet. <laughs> it's got everything. Got everything on it. Let's talk about stories or events, things that you did down at Disney World, Cousin Heather. Can you think of one of your favorite stories or events or combination of the I sure such? can. <laughs> like, you know that I haven't listened to this week's show all the way through yet so i don't know if you got had to go to the chiropractor or not <laughs> can you just let me know one more time i don't know so we went to jelly rolls which was so fun and one of my former music directors is one of the four pianists there and he's incredible and so it was really fun so we knew when to get there and how to get the right tables and just had such a fun time but i was i'm sure everybody knows now i decided to write on my cocktail napkin Proud Mary with Cousin Heather and the Pod Fathers. And Is we that what danced. you wrote on it? To it was, I wrote, yes. I wrote Proud Mary with Cousin Heather and the Pod Father. And how did he introduce? Because he was. Remember how he introduced, oh, wait, wait, go ahead. Remember how he introduced the song? Oh, yeah. With the whole Tina Turner thing yes. about nice and easy and no, we like it nice and rough. And yeah. Kurt stepped right up <laughs> as soon as he said that. But yeah, we had a good time. Why are you laughing, we had a, Jen? We had a good time. Were you I there? Super good that. We all no. know. I, I have video evidence. Uh, you were there too? Wow. Yes. At that point, I was in the way back because there was no room <laughs> left at the table. And then when I saw people getting up, I just literally left Michael at the table and went down in the front. Yeah. How many people do you think we had in Jelly Rolls? 30. Huh? Oh, at least. Yeah. yeah. At say. least. Yeah. We had the whole yeah. bottom floor. Pretty much. Great. Right. Great. Right. Everyone that was Pretty there, I knew. His- Put it that way. <laughs> Yeah. Trey Nolan got a new special cowboy hat, his <laughs> tiny cowboy barrette. Yes, he did. He was quite happy, but he wore it for the rest of the night. Yeah. It was great. It was what a fun thing. If you've got a big group of people, what a fun thing to do. And I'd and always the, heard the, about the it. Talent there is. Oh, yeah. it's unbelievable. And always, really. What? I knew Michael was talented, but I literally was like, holy crap. Yeah. Really. I didn't know you could just pull it out. That's the thing. They just do it by memory. You were telling me. He first had a, a gig on a, a cruise ship, right? With doing the right. same thing. So he was on the he was on the inaugural sailing of the Wish. That's the latest ship, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he was playing in the pirate band and doing dueling pianos on the ship. Yes. Okay. And then sometimes you can't live on a boat for so long. So he came off and, and they immediately snatched him up at, at they must, Rolls. They must know. The songs that are requested, there's a bunch that are, yeah, but right. I, I'm not trying to, it's just phenomenal to me that they would know all yeah. the words. You'd think they'd have a little iPad yeah. there. to, <laughs> And maybe they did and we just didn't see it. I don't know, but no, there was Disney no magic. IPad. We were close. Yeah. yeah. All good. So, I haven't anyway, seen many videos of this. Was, yeah. That was I got videos. very fun. 
I thank you for bringing me up there. I told the story a lot, but I always heard of conference attendees going to this Jelly Rolls, and I was always jealous that I wasn't there. And I got the best experience I possibly could have ever had. Imagine going by myself. It would have been so boring. So amazing. Yeah. It was so fantastic. Thank you, Heather, for being a part of it. And you guys scoped it out like at 630 or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, we didn't like yeah. about 630, didn't we? And it yeah. opens at 7. Yeah. 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 Yep. And on a Saturday night, it was yeah, the highlight of my G3 for sure. Jen. Yeah, it was fun. What were some of the highlights for you? Um, I love... Um, I love the Halloween party. Okay. It's so much fun. Heather and Sam, Samantha Carpin and I got into a parade a little bit, a pre-parade, if you will. Your and then even invited us. I'm pretty sure we just hopped in. I think we did. It what was fine. A guest yeah. parade? What was this? It was a <laughs> guest parade. There was some characters. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I think there was like children and the three of us. <laughs> I don't see the That's difference fine. in a way, but. It's everybody's a child at Disney. That's right. right. Thank right. you, Amy. We just did the little throw down. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Circles, lapped it up, and then danced and calmed bed. And yeah, yeah. But that was just a really fun night. We um, split off with a really good group and um, just had a ton of fun. I got to watch the firework next to Michael and Tony Ann, and that was awesome. Michael was so excited. Oh, yeah. And then Trey decided he wanted to ride rides. So we went and rode r- rides after that. And we went back. There was a photo pass opportunity with Tinkerbell in a little lantern. Mm. And it was towards the end of the day. It was getting late. And the, they took our pictures with the lantern. But then I asked them, I'm like, do you guys want to get a picture with the lantern? And, and a whole, a, like, other photo pass drivers had finished for the night and they'd come over. And there was, like, six of them. And they're like, really? Can, can you take pictures? And I'm like, Absolutely. So they did, we had a little photo session with the photo pass photographers and the Tinkerbell's lantern and they had <laughs> so much fun. You they sent me that picture. Now, did you take one of their cameras and take their picture? No, I said, do you want me to? Am I allowed to? Which yeah. would have been a bad idea because I've been drinking. <laughs> so I just it. took them with my phone and then they said they were on the annual pass Facebook group. So I put them on the annual pass Facebook group and. Oh, wow. I think a couple of them are on there. Fanta- yeah, grab them. Again, you sent that over to me. Yeah, they're really good pictures. I, we've not done a good job of aggregating all our pictures. Right. I know. I'll, I'll put some. I'll put some up from. I was just going through them and no. trying to remember stuff for tonight, and ran across some that I hadn't seen since. How long did you stay? We stayed late. Yeah, it was after midnight. Yes, I think okay. so. Nice. How are the crowds after midnight? They thinned out a lot. Nice. Trey and I did. I think we walked on to buys, and I'm sure we did some other things. I heard getting uh, on rides was easy during the. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. Um, we, I think we walked on. I'm thinking if it's the glory, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we walked on to seven doors too. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. I had, yeah. We did. We did. Uh, oh, we did Big Center Mountain and yeah. we did Jungle Cruise. That was a ton of fun at night. Yeah. Yes. As a person who were done it at night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that. I and then cap- after the scavenger hunt, a group of us kept going. We went over to Baseline Tap House and then the Muppets. And then some of us were going to ride Rise of the Resistance. And we waited in line for 45 minutes. And then it broke down right when we were getting ready to load, which was fine because it, it was Tony Ann and um, Michael and Rihanna to Jeff and Danielle, who asked Jen Pulley. Glenn and Rebecca and um, Dan, and we just had so much fun walking around. And Sam Carpin, Sam Carpin too. Yeah. Wow. And then we just walked back up to Toy Story Land, and it was just really nice hanging out. Not people I would normally hang out with. What night was, was that? What's that? What night was that? That was the afternoon after um, the scavenger hunt because yeah. um, so many people had left it go to the airport. Yeah. So we were still there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We were quite- Actually, I feel like we had a lot of people that we had a lot of people over at Boma the next day, Monday morning. That was, I think, more yeah. than normally. We had a lot more people who have seen people stay a little later. I've noticed that with G three, people have come earlier and stayed it's later <laughs> at the front and the end. <laughs> yes, I think that was definitely. Now that I'm thinking about it, Jason, any <laughs> events you enjoyed? Yeah, I really had a great time at the Halloween party mm. as well. The group we were with. 
was really awesome mm-hmm. there. Some of the things that come to mind are some of the great cast member interactions we had, like the night of Fantasmic, what was that Sunday night? Me and Kevin Curtis Allen were waiting around for you to show up. So we were walking around Star Wars area. Yeah. And normally I can't get into the role playing stuff. I just overthink things. So I panic when they try to get me to play parts. Yeah. But we've been walking around at Galaxy's Edge enough that I was starting to get in the groove. And we went over to one of those photo pass areas. And whoever this lady was the best, scariest, stormtrooper-ish <laughs> lady. What's the bad guys called in the new movies? Oh, oh the First Order. Yes. First Order. Thank you. She, this kid in front of us, little kid with one of those droids he just bought was waiting to get his picture. And she's barking orders at him. And he started getting the little, I'm going to cry face going. <laughs> oh, and then lips. she later got him his pictures and treat him up and she never broke character. So she comes up and she's like barking stuff. And I'm like, no, ma'am, I'm, I am 100% the first order, ma'am. All is held to the emperor. Man, huh? Just getting into it. <laughs> nice. And they the two pictures of us doing the force. And I'm trying to do this kind of a fist thing. Cause I'm like scared that this lady's going to start yelling at me if I don't look properly dark in my pose. I'm just like for that little, 20 seconds or so, I was actually there yeah. in the Star Wars universe. Just, she did her job so well. Nice. And the other thing that stuck out was at the back of the Halloween party, I just decided to be silly. And so my costume was based on anti-gravity's galactic goodies, the ice cream store, <laughs> and Tomorrowland, which is a very obscure right. costume to go with. So most people had no idea what I was wearing, <laughs> but... I kept saying, okay, we got to swing through this store. We got to swing through the store. So finally, towards the end of the night, I finally went in the store, probably 10 minutes before they closed. And I walk up to the girl at the register. I'm like, hey, I just want you to know I'm dressed like you for Halloween. She's, you're dressed like me? No, no, I'm not a stalker. The ice cream store. So I showed her my hat and I said, the Galactic Goodies logo. So she started almost crying. She's, you actually dress like our Aww. store for Halloween. So she's like calling all the guys in the back to come up and see me. And so they're like, yeah, you gotta come work for us. I'm like, give me a sign. I'll go dance outside <laughs> on front if you want. And I got pictures of me with the guys there in my outfit. I just, it was really nice as it felt like that's like a spot that Halloween doesn't really get any yeah. special treatment. So it was really cool to light up their night there. That's awesome. Love those kind of stories, Jason. Nick, I want to know what you thought of the quest for geek and glory. I love that. <laughs> well, it was a great time to, to you, Jason, and Dan yeah. on our team. And I discovered a bunch of stuff about Hollywood Studios that I'd never, Disney's Hollywood Studios, that I've never known. Right. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great day. And I, next one, I will be doing more activities for sure yeah jelly rolls sounds like you had a blast i know like i have enjoyed jelly rolls okay yeah maybe we can get barbie off of work she did she spend some time with us too a little bit she did a little yes she was a beer garden yes oh she was a beer garden yeah and uh, that's the only one she made it this time but absolutely need to get her more involved next time (laughs) maybe we'll get you involved in the next scavenger hunt yeah that's that (laughs) was again i look forward to another one they kept saying Oh my, this is great. I did. I was very enthusiastic. He was about blown it. away. I never, 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 what are, how am I not seeing this? It's the simple yeah. things like there's a hidden Mickey on the rock and roller coaster, like on the shirts. Was it on Steven? Steve Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mick, That's it, right. It's Mickey's. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Joe Perry had a medallion. I'd yeah. Look around his neck. It's a Mickey there's medallion. A, I know. He had medallion. Like a necklace. I know. You never know. I kept trying to throw you guys off because I would see you come and I'd tell the cast member, whoever helped us, I was like, don't tell them anything. <laughs> oh, oh, you're the one. trying to throw us off. He didn't tell us a thing. We figured it out all on our own. Why did we even come in? I didn't even find I, out. I don't know. Our team came in, if not last, close to last, <laughs> and I have no idea how that happened. I feel like we answered everything. We missed the last one, I know. The last I know bonus question, last- I think. The last, the last few. Yeah. 
I think we missed maybe a whole land. We I gotta, get, I gotta get with the judges and find out. We did get to ride Tower of Terror, which yeah, is, I don't think anybody team beat us in fun for that. <laughs> afternoon. That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's all that matters. And I got to do right? I a little Aunt Tootie falling out of the chair. <laughs> That's right. That's Whatever. Was that part of the gig too? The... I was part of the gig. <laughs> we all did it. Jason it was, was bonus points. Yeah. yeah. Jason was covered by the people in front of them. They <laughs> threw in the air. I got to tell you, Nick, I've said this forever. That's the best ride photo picture I've ever seen at Disney World. Right. And I claim that nobody could duplicate it. And you came as close as anyone possibly can. I just want you to know that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I mean that sincerely. I was impressed. It's all those acting classes I took. <laughs> never took. I, I just thought you were scared to death, but no. I would. I just said, lose yeah, your balance and be scared how, to death. That's how good of an actor I am. <laughs> awesome. One take. It was great. Good time. Amy, did you have any fun times at G3? I'm definitely going to go with the walk from Epcot to Abercadabar after Boys to Men. Oh, God. So, boy. I guess Boys to Men and then Abercadabra is a collective experience. Does that count? Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. Then, I don't know how this could be interesting in any way, but go ahead. But there and then sitting at Abercadabra, we were, we, it was, we had trouble sitting and then we went outside and I ended up sitting with Chris and Brandy. Yeah. You troll. Yeah. And talking to them for a little while. And then we ended up being late to Jelly Rolls, which is why we sat in the back. And then Jelly Rolls, when they played, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere and yelled out, what would the pod father do? And you like stood up as if it was like rehearsed and started singing. It was great. I forget about that too. I know the words. It was great. Yeah. (laughs) You sang all the words, except you said it was 11 o'clock somewhere instead of... It's five o'clock somewhere. It was great. It was like an epic moment because you have the shirt and you have like, it's a thing. Yeah. Thank I don't know if anybody got that on video. You don't, did you get that one on video? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I got it. You didn't burn it like I told you? No. <laughs> but it is etched in my memory. Wait That's, a minute. That was... You left the walk part. You said the best part was the walk from Boys yeah, to Men. Yeah, you Far- and I were chit-chatting back and forth just about stuff. You and me? Yeah. Oh, okay. It meant so much. Yeah, he forgot. He forgot. It meant so much. Come on. Someone back me up. It's a whirlwind. You know what? It was a long day. I saw this. I saw the size of the beer that he had in the afternoon (laughs) beer garden. Yeah. Yeah. I I say go big if you're going to go to the beer garden. You would think he would remember because I gave him his money back. Oh, that's right. Do you? I was watching the Voices of Liberty between something and Boys to Men before Boys to Men. And Margita was supposed to give him money because he needed money. And she said, are you going to Boys to Men? And I said, yes. And she said, give Kurt this money. And Judy said, Amy, take half of it. Kurt doesn't need it all. <laughs> and I said, I'm not going to do that. And Margita said, no, just give him the money. And I said, okay. So after Boys to Men, I got you your money. They think beers cost four fifty at Disney World. Yes. Nope. It was perfect, though. I I did the coverage. I got a discount, $2 discount on the cover charge at Jelly Rolls. Did you? Why? DVC. I think it was annual No annual pass. I think both of them you can get a discount. Oh, I didn't get anything. Yeah. I didn't either. Everybody told me. Not that you can do much with $2, but. What's the this, cover charge there now? 20 20 yeah. 20 Totally it's worth it. Oh, Absolutely well, worth it. I yeah. love the concerts. Did anyone enjoy the Boys to Men concert? Anyone else go besides me and Amy? No? Just me and Amy? All right. Did not. There was a whole bunch of nap. Yeah, that's right. You went to take a nap. <laughs> but the week before, you I saw clothes. 98 degrees. So uh-huh. I okay. did. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going. I was going to go see Hanson this weekend. What I'm happened? Going. Mom went in the hospital. Oh, okay. So we're, I decided not to go. Do they, do they tour or what's their schedule? Yeah, so they just got back from the UK. They toured with a group called Busted. I don't know what it is, but they just toured all around the UK. They did their last show like a couple of weeks ago. And then that they don't have a US tour right now. Mm. The only way I could see them is Epcot. Which is coming up, right? It is the 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. Are you going October? No, okay. 
That's yeah, soon. that's the one we had to cancel. Yeah. Yeah, that's coming up this week. Okay. Let's you want to go around one more time, guys? You got another story? Anyone got another story? Heather's got one? I'm trying to think. I usually take such good notes and I did not take such good notes this time. Let's see. Thursday was Animal Kingdom and Friday was Heather, we had party. a lot of fun oh, oh. at Animal Kingdom because we, Trey had told me before we went that he had never done the trails. Oh, yeah. And it's my MO to get a drink at the Wall Bar and then walk the Gorilla Trail. And then I get a drink at Thirsty River and do the Tiger Trail. So yeah. we, a whole bunch of us went and did that and just all did the Gorilla tra- Trail together and then rode the Safari or Safari and then Gorilla Trail. I can't remember which. And it was just so much fun. The girls were super active and... Uh. Yeah, I was that trying was to do that. Samantha Carpenter and I wanted to do that. We we're trying to break away. We never got off. It was, yeah. I was there yeah, so many days. It easily. Yeah, I can't believe some of the things that I missed that I wanted to do, even though I was there so long, so long. I remember something that happened. Yeah. Jack Sparrow told me he loved me in the parade. And Jim Batchelder saw it. I just you want can, everybody to know that. You can confirm that, Jen? Yeah, no. Yes, I can I, confirm that. And yeah. he meant it. He meant it. Now, I might have said I love you about five times to him before, he's, before he before said, said it, it back to me, but he, he said it. So I swear. It counts. Eventually, she was holding him, down, holding him down and had something to his throat. I wasn't sure what it was, but he definitely climbed, climbed on the float. No. You're such a Jack float, Sparrow but. stalker, Heather. I am. Where was, he was like near the, I know when I was walking by, he was on the right hand side near the bathroom. So, this is where he was at. Yeah. Is that where you saw him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This was when he was on the float in the parade. <laughs> yeah. No. I just thought we wanted to be a part of the parade that night. We did. <laughs> that Jen and I. And nobody stopped else. Hey, did you what? do anything? You, it was, did you guys do anything new for the first time that we haven't talked about? Any new food? Any food and wine festival? Yeah. Well, I had never been to the beer garden before. All right. And next time I won't eat nachos before I go. Yeah. So, okay, right. What'd you say? You only had pickles and. I had cucumbers and a pretzel roll. Cucumbers and a pretzel. Yeah, you really forget to eat. You just keep going. All right. If you don't have scheduled meals. Yeah. And I never forget to eat. And I would realize it had been a long time. Yeah. Since I, I always say it, the place of extremes. Yeah. You're starving to death or you, you can't move because you're so stuffed. Yes. We had we had a, a whole pool morning for the first time at G3. I've never heard that happening at G3 before. No. Yeah. Who, who went to the pool party? Um, it was um, Kessler's in Madison and Troy. Jen wow. Plain was down there. Jen Wynn was down there. Yeah. Hello for a moment. Yeah. Heather came by. Amanda Lamb came down. Wow. Yeah. And we just listened to the extremely loud DJ music. <laughs> and then, yeah, hung out at the pool. Somebody asked me, Chris Futrell said. And Trey was with us. I don't think Andy ever came down. Andy or Sam, they, I forget what they were doing. I didn't do any of that. I got that question from Chris. Margita's love for the parks is legendary. So, I heard that. Were you able to slow things down and enjoy some non-park time? Not me. No. You guys did it. I highly recommend it. I think it was a little more yeah. chill. I think G3 was a little chill this time. Yeah. It was Very- nice. Oh, well, I'll, any favorite last moments you want to mention? What was your, what's the memory you're going to take away from this, Heather? Oh, <laughs> wow. Just a question. I know it is. I can say so much, but I won't. The opportunity to get to hang out with old friends and new friends and just be silly and fun in the place that you love the most. And it is, it's just joyful. It's just really joyful. And a way to get away from the stressors of your life and just be able to just dive into the magic with people who get it and you don't have to explain it. Right. Yeah. That's what was fun. You're making me feel good because I promoted it heavy to you. I said, you're just going to have the best time. I just, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, Heather, I know you, you're going to have, you're going to meet some people that you're going to really enjoy hanging out with. So I'm glad my, I was right. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I got home and I was like, I'm not missing the next one. Mind so. blown, right? Yeah. Find a dog sitter, Peter Cattell, because <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> I'm really, I'm very pleased for people that went solo or, and, and like you said, an adult time to go with just friends. <laughs> and, and you really took advantage of staying with someone who you didn't really know. And even and- through a Facebook messenger group. 
decided to share a room. Really well, happy. and I have to give a, a huge shout out to our beloved Samantha Kio. She knew. Okay. She was like, "Yeah, I got you taken care of. I promise." She connected you You're properly. Love her. And, yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh, she did that too. Okay. Not surprised. Yeah. Awesome. No. Jen Batchelder, what are you going to take away from this G3? What's a memory, it was, um, core memory? It was a little different than G3 because last year was so new and I met so many people okay. for the first time. Yeah. And there aren't as many first time. First time I ever spent time with Jason and Nick. And it was nice having those established relationships, but it was nice also having the time to mm. meet new people too. Yeah, I agree. And I, I agree. It's, it's just nothing better than being with your people <laughs> in your place. It's just so good. Everyone gets you. Everyone gets you and you don't have to worry about everybody else and their enjoyment and what they're doing because everybody that's there is doing exactly what they want to be doing. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Jason, what did you think of your first experience with the, the geeks coming to Florida? Great time. There's some people I expected to get along great with. Like I had met Nick and Carlin on the Zoom call before. So I knew we already, I already liked them. But the, me and Nick pretending to be fancy with them are, are martinis there in the Italy Pavilion, feeling up a crust for a little <laughs> while. That was fun. The fun thing that was a surprise to me, though, was how awesome it was to hang out with some of the guys that maybe don't get as much attention as far as known guys. Remember at the Indiana Jones when I snuck up behind you and pretended like I was an R8 security guard <laughs> and kind of scared you there for a second, Kurt? Yeah. I ended up sitting there talking to Ken for like 30 minutes. And I'm just like, forget the show, forget Hollywood Studios. I just want to hang out with this dude for the rest of the day. Can we just go hang out? I'll he pay gets that a lot. And then Dan Robinson, yeah. we stood next to each other at the parade, both of us going, yeah, it's, it's a parade. And we both ended up loving it. But he was part of our scavenger hunt team. And what a funny guy. <laughs> That guy had me laughing nonstop. He was so quiet. You don't expect it. But that dude was awesome. Oh, I, I just want to hang out with him again. Can we just have another four guys scavenger like all day event? All, we can all take turns buying each other drinks. That's pretty cool. Taking weird pictures on theme park rides. We had more fun than we deserved to. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Jason. We're going to have some more good times in the future. Nick. Yes. What'd you, what are you going to walk away from the Grand Geek and Gathering? The outpouring of love and support for our former podcast. Yeah. It started previously, but a lot of heartfelt conversation. Just oh, interesting. The meetings I had with people. Yeah. And, and, and you, as a matter of fact. And yeah, that's cool. That was very meaningful. Yeah, that was great. And it's got me back here and I've had a really great time. Yeah. I was ner very nervous. I'm actually doing the Disney crush on Thursday oh, recording. Cool. Oh, cool. So. Awesome. Get back in the swing of things. Getting back out there. I love it. Rejoining society. <laughs> Nick, I have to tell you, I love the ratatouille behind your head, up in the kitchen, up <laughs> on the, above the cabinet. That I love that. Thank you. I got that on Etsy years ago. <laughs> the know, house looks metal, great from metal, here. Fine. Heavy pretty heavy metal sign okay. and we actually had it hanging on one of those 3m clips mm -hmm. and it, it flit off of that so now it just rests up there nobody knows what we're talking about it just occurred to me right this is great great <laughs> podcast <laughs> content <laughs> yeah okay. yep one of these days we're going to youtube <laughs> yes thank you though thank you very much thanks nick and amy what you gonna remember from this what's your core memory from this trip I'm so glad you came. I, think, I know it's hard for yeah, you to come, teacher. Thank goodness. Yep. Thank goodness we we ended up having fall break. We had a teacher work day the 29th, and then we were off the whole rest of the week. So I was just able to do, and mom was well enough to get Lorelai back and forth to school and stuff like that. But I think the very first time I saw everybody... Because we got there the night of the Halloween party and we were late getting in and Friday night, we yeah. just decided to chill and get everything ready. And I like to unpack and hang up all my clothes, like in the order that we wear them and do my little ritual when I get there and closet. 
And we got there Saturday and walked up to where everybody was in Epcot. Oh, that was your first and kind of big. That yeah. was my very first time seeing everybody again. Ooh. And I was greeted with people being so excited to see me. And I was like, oh, this is great. They are so excited to see me. No, they wanted me to sign their bingo card. What was your bingo card square? What did it say? Hanson. It was about Hanson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna, you're my last square on my bingo card. So everybody's like running up to me and I'm like signing bingo cards like a famous person. Oh. I was the Travis of the time. <laughs> So that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> it was funny. And then all the hugs. And then I hugged so hard that my ear started bleeding. <laughs> and Tori Hunt had to clean my ear. She was like, you're bleeding. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so she, of course, had a wipe. And she mothered me and got, got all the blood off my neck. Poor thing. But it was just walking up to that first the very first thing. It wasn't like a small group of people. It was legit. That's, yeah, that's a big. Everybody. That's a, I, I ask everyone that's coming to G3 if they could please come Saturday and do the picture Saturday morning. So even Bubba Mac was, what time? 10 o'clock? He's going to get up till noon, I think, normally. He just came off tour. So, oh. but anyways, I don't know. Should I apologize for all the attention? I don't know. No, it was great. It was so great to see you and Michael. Awesome, guys. This has been great. I've really enjoyed all your perspectives. And I, know. Hope, I think everyone else listening, I got to believe that you can't see us. There's been a lot of excitement and great emotion for this episode. So thanks, guys, for coming and stay in touch. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Not absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. Thank but, you, Kurt. Thank you, everybody. Kurt. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. That was a lot of fun. Heather, Jen, Jason, Nick, and Amy. I love talking to my friends about Disney World. And I hope you too have a lot of friends and family to celebrate Disney World when you go down like we do. And if you're looking for a weird internet family, definitely check out our Facebook group. It's a great place to get started, to get to know us. I see my good friend, Scott, who's host of the Mickey File podcast, posting us a picture. And he must be a listener to the podcast. He's heard us talk about gear in the Norway Pavilion and his Layla perfume. He's there at times. You get to meet him in person. And he, he knows my internal joke about gear and my wife, Margita. So. He posted that. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate that. Marcy Bellaquet. She's noticing new level of crowds as she's coming into the Grapefruit Garage at Disney Springs. And it was Thanksgiving week. Certainly can be busy during holiday times. She said the polite pig wasn't so bad of a line, so that's good. But hopefully coming into this next week, the first couple of weeks of December, I always say there are always crowds. It's either crowded or insanely crowded at Disney World. So you always got to use those strategies to beat the crowds, Marcy. But thanks for your post in our group. Jeff Opolka, longtime friend of the podcast. Winter Wonderland in Celebration, Florida. He's got a video here of snow in Florida. Celebration, Florida. He's there with his beautiful wife, D. Great pictures. He does such great photography. My friend Jeff, what great pictures he posted here and video amazing jennifer thebalt hey jennifer thanks for posting your ride photo on the dinosaur ride yes i get terrified too still i love making faces she thought her daughter was going to be scared but it looks like her and her husband are more scared than her daughter <laughs> not looking at the dinosaur and our good friend sandy collins wondering who's going to be in the parks on tuesday she's going to be in epcot yeah it's a great time to let everyone know you're in the parks and maybe you'll find a geek and I think maybe Dee Barton might catch up with her. And then I see Holly and Dan Austin making comments here. I got to get a hold of them because they're back. It looks like they're back home because they've set up their Disney Christmas Village back at home. She's got lots of great souvenirs and Christmassy decorations with a Disney theme. This is fantastic. I got to get a hold of you guys this week. Dan and Holly, I got to do your trip report. Matter of fact, I'm going to message you later today. This is Sunday after Thanksgiving. Hope you all had a fantastic 
Thanksgiving. I know I had some time off. I had a whole week off. Got some work done in my bathroom that I'm renovating. And I'm also did some work, which wasn't too bad, but it was something I could do with no one bothering me. I hope you had a wonderful and relaxing holiday and getting geared up for Christmas time. I'd love to have anyone who's down at Disney parks during Christmas time. We love to hear what's going on in the parks. Christmas and New Year, so if you want to do a trip report, definitely contact me, Kurt.Stone, at geekinonww.com. Getting closer to the end of the year, we'll probably do some episodes looking and reflecting back on the year. I know I've got one that I'm going to be scheduling that Andy Hoffman talked to me about, and we'll be doing some of that at the end of this year. Christmas time is coming. Got to get our shopping done. At the time, again, we're thanking you for booking your trips with the Traveling Tierras. We really appreciate you contacting us and booking those trips, talking to us about your trips to Disney World. Definitely email them, travelingtierras at gmail.com. Talk to Marguerite and Judy. And if you book your own trip, remember you can transfer that trip over to them. I think the Saturday was Small Business Saturday. A lot of travel agents will encourage people to use their services to support small businesses. So we really appreciate you guys that book with the Traveling Tierras and everyone who helps me out with my Patreon.com. It's a website where you can donate to the show. Thank you for all my Patreon supporters. I will get some more audio out. I still have quite a bit of audio from my G3 trip and upcoming you'll be hearing the Jelly Rolls audio. I have like over two hours of Jelly jelly Rolls. I think I'm going to release those. I hope it's fun to listen to. I've not listened to it all myself yet, but the first few minutes I listened to was a lot of fun. So those are going to be coming out to you next. And again, thank you to Samantha and Noreen remembering us and sending in intros. That was a fantastic one, guys. They're easy to create. Just record like Samantha and Noreen did. They're fun. You can message them to me through Facebook or email them to me. Just tell us your name, where you're from, and a fun Disney World fact or two about yourself. And you go geek in on Walt Disney World with Curtis and the whole Geekin family. Email them at kurt.stone at geekinonww.com. We are committed to helping you enjoy your Disney World vacation. You can just reach out to us to do a trip report, book trips, the traveling tiers. And we love hearing from you guys and talking to you about Disney World every week. Thanks for going geeking on Walt Disney World with us. We really appreciate you listening and geeking with us every single day. We love you, geeks. Have a magical day. I hope all your dreams come true. (laughs) 